Hey y'all, cruising the coast 2017, and I got a 61 Impala I think y'all are gonna enjoy. You know I'm a big fan of these, and it's black, slammed to the ground, looking good. Let's get the camera turned around and take a quick look at it. Ronnie, you brought one of my favorite cars to cruising the coast, and I wanna tell you, I like I told you earlier, 61 and 62, GM should have just quit making cars after that. That's right, Scotty, it's a nice car, man. It is Super not. nice Very car, cool. you know. Yeah, yeah, real nice. Real nice bubble top, you know, I always like the bubble tops. How long have you had it? I've had the car for about three years, and we uh, we built this car about two years ago, and, uh, you know, took her down and everything, and she's, uh, man, she's just fantastic. What condition was it in when you got it? It was in pretty good shape, man. Yeah. We didn't have to change no panels. It has all the original floor panels. It has all the original quarters, doors. It's all original car. Where'd you find it? Uh, got in L.A. out in California. Okay. So you, California you got this car. one before it went to uh, up north. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that's very cool. What kind of suspension are you running on? Well, we got Ride Tech suspension on it. Love using those boys stuff. You know, like I said again, thanks to Boris Street Machinery. He hooks me up every time there. And just a great guy, but all that suspension's on there is Ride Tech, and man, just rides fantastic. And what wheel and tire are you using? We've got uh, the SLD 89 uh, wheel on there from Village Specialty. What size are they? They uh, 20s on the front, eight and a half wide, and they got 22s on the rear, 10 wide. This is a silly question, but I always ask it because if you made any changes to this car, you screwed up. But yeah. have you made any body mods nah, or anything like that to it? No, Scott. Hey, listen, man, this thing here that, like you said, with GM, man, they're they're just fantastic. Back then, they were building cars, you know, the 61, 62 bubble tops, you know, man, you just you can't beat them. You cannot beat them for style, that's for sure. And I noticed, I was talking to you earlier too, I noticed that chrome piece on the bottom down there in the rocker. And I, you said that came from the factory, but you don't see them out. A lot of people no, must take it off. Yeah, so most people take them off. You know, they're just a rocker molding, you know. They're just kind of a rock guard type deal, you know, to keep right. them chipping up the rockers and stuff. But no, I think it looks good. Oh yeah, it sets the car off, I yeah, think. Yeah, and on yours, I mean, it turns black when it's sitting on asphalt, right. so it really kind of just looks like a piece of black chrome underneath it Just there. blends right in. Oh, very cool car. And you kept the California plate too? Yep, sure did. Oh, kept it on the front. There you yeah, go. kept it. Nothing uh, over the top in here. You really don't need it. Again, they had it nailed. And the truth is, I forgot to uh, shoot the uh, interior or uh, do the audio for the interior with Ronnie. I love the uh, rear seat speaker. And so, you know, you got to improvise. Still get the point. Didn't want to overlook it because it's a very cool interior. It is custom, but you know it's not. Uh, it's not one of the like go crazy, do whatever you want to do customs. It retained the coolness of uh, 1961. Yeah, different steering wheel and uh, you know some cup holders. I don't think those probably came stock in it, but that talk, that tack, and that clock and the console. That's cool. Still, again, I'm not sure. You know how much of that avail was available in. Uh, in 61 but cool car cool interior black with red can't go wrong right and then you got the ls2 up under the hood oh yeah we've got the ls you know it's one of those deals we, we it's a motor i had so we done a little head work on it put a cam in it it's not no real heavy thumper but i mean you know she she sounds pretty good you know she's healthy and uh that's not one of the plug-and-play motors? Uh, no, not this one here. It, it's a different motor out of a GTO. So it's one of those deals we've kind of put together ourselves, put the billet specially uh, serpentine set up on the front of it, and uh, man, just fantastic set up there. You know? Did you do any work with firewall or anything? Yeah, we smoothed the old firewall up, left the original heater box in it, but we run the AC lines all the way in the corner over there where, they, where the uh, heater motor goes and comes out there, you know, cleans the old car up, the firewall, and you know, just makes it look fantastic under there. Dude, it does. Like I said, this is one of my favorite body styles. These 61, 62s, you get the stance right, and there ain't a thing oh, in the you, world you, you need to do. Dude. Cannot beat them. Man. I mean, you talk I'm about classic, you. cool, and timeless. That's these cars. Oh here. yeah, they are that. That's for sure. They and are. I know that you know people are going to pick up on this and follow the channel. <laughs> Ronnie had quite a few cars I shot down here at cruising the coast, and that's not all of them. You got some more. No, I've got yeah, I've got a few more. I, you know, I'm uh, not bragging about it, but no. I mean, you know, got that Scotty. I've got you know some other nice cars, you know, convertible wise you know and stuff like that you know i just i just love these cars man i mean gm back then from the tri fives up to 60s man they're just fantastic cars awesome cars well brother now that we're friends we got to get through that collection and check the rest hey. of them out again i always appreciate the people that allow me to do this and man keep up the good work keep hey, building cool we appreciate you out here helping us out man, man. we do you're welcome Thank you, you are welcome i'm so blessed to be able to do what i do and uh very cool yep I appreciate it. Thank you. And like I said, just keep building some cool cars. We'll do it, man. Thank you. See ya. 
So there you go from cruising the coast 2017, a very cool 1961 Chevy Impala. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video. Thank you.